the classroom. Now let's begin. Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Whoa! Upstairs, here we go. <laughs> Victoria, what's up? Tonight, good to see you. And our teachers, man, they're matching today. Look how good they look. Oh, I'm excited, man. You guys aren't going to believe who's here. We have the students and our fantastic teachers from Mastery East Camden Middle School in Camden County, New Jersey. They just entered the classroom that should let students try to prove that they are, in fact, smarter than their teachers. Hey, the best schools, they always roll up with tons of school spirit, and they showed up. What's up, guys? They're feeling it. I'm feeling that energy. It's winner take all in the cash and bragging rights before we meet our contestants. Let's see who studied. I'm calling it. It's going for a pop quiz. <laughs> pop quiz time. All right. Audience looking good out there today. Teams, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question right, you bank 10. If you get it wrong, a contestant from the other team is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. Pop quiz starts now. What is the name of the tiger mascot for Frosted Flake cereal? Mr. O'Callaghan. Tony the Tiger. That's right. In basketball, getting double digits and points and assists in a single game is an example of what? Mr. O'Callaghan. A double-double. Double-double's right. Two in a row for you. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Janiya. The Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Students on the board. Which of the sensory organs allows you to smell? Mr. O'Callaghan. The nose? Correct. What is the current capital of the United States? Mr. O'Callaghan. Washington, D.C. Guys on fire right now. How many days are in the month of July? Janiyah. 31. 31 is right. Correct. In the MLB, the city of San Francisco is represented by what team? Mr. O'Callaghan. The Giants. Giants is right. The Flash has what symbol on his chest? Janiyah. A lightning bolt. Lightning bolt's right. Head to head here, guys. What is a baby deer called? Mr. O'Callaghan. A doe. Incorrect. <laughs> Students for the steal. Baby deer. We're looking for the fawn, guys. The fawn. What is another name for the outside layer of the trunk, branches, and twigs of trees? We're looking for the bark there. And that is it for Pop Quiz. Man, good start for both sides. I love it. Let's take a look at our scores. 50 for the teachers ahead by 20 to the students. 30, we're off to a great start. We have the students and the teachers from Mastery East Camden Middle School in Camden, New Jersey, home of the Lions. Let's meet our teams as we get into it. Janai, good. Were you, do you know Mr. O.C. over here? You guys were going head to head in Pop Quiz. I got intense. I liked it. All right, so $500 on the line today. If you guys win, where's that going to go? So our end of the school year field trip. Oh, nice. Uh, field trip, do you guys know where you want to go yet? Not yet. So it could be anywhere, $500. That'll get you pretty much maybe to Disney. <laughs> huh? Let's keep the fingers crossed. Well, good luck today. Seventh grader you are, your team captain today. You had the greatest scare ever trying to get on the show. You got to tell us about this. So I'm, I was in math class, and our principal comes in. She's like, Janai, come here. Wait, so your principal actually <laughs> gave you the, get over here. At that point, all bets are off. You think you're in a lot of trouble, right? Yes. And then she hits you with a... Do you want to be on the game show? And oh. you were like, yeah! I'm not getting any attention. I'll do whatever you want, lady. All right, well, nice to see you today. Good luck. Too, Victoria, good to see you. Eighth grader, guys, the vice president of the eighth grade class right here. I feel like I'm in the sense of royalty. That's awesome. What's going on around school? What are we planning? and what's big coming up? Um, we have our winter formal coming up December 13th. Nice. You excited? Yes. So uh, dance moves, uh, plenty. Like, you can show up and just do that. You're, like, allowed in. <laughs> I guess I'm going. All right. Adana, seventh grader, man. You're a video game player by day, but you got big plans for the future. Tell everybody what that is. Well, one of my big plans is going to be like uh, being a doctor. Nice. Any choice on uh, what you want to do uh, doctor wise? Mm, not really, but time will see. All right. Well, if I cut myself in the back, are you willing to operate? Sure. All right. Good, man. We're all safe. You fall down, guys. Good luck today. $500 on the line. Disney World. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> You guys don't want to take Disney from these three, do you? 
<laughs> Mr. O.C., the way you were crushing in that pop quiz there, I think you were ready for it. It's Man. true, I am unstoppable. Yeah, like that was a tough <laughs> pop quiz right there. Yeah, five hundred dollars in the line. If you guys win, where's that going to go today? We're going to get a three D printer. Nice. You're an English teacher, but you kind of take your writing outside. Tell us about that. I do. I occasionally write for the Philadelphia Citizen and uh, the Philadelphia Inquirer. So. Any style, certain. Uh, Articles or anything like that? Op-ed, but I also write about civic good and oh, people so doing charity. Just people so. doing amazing things. Truly. Awesome. Good stuff. Miss Hudson, science, third year, and your education has taken you everywhere. Yes, I have studied abroad in Thailand and in London, um, and I traveled all over the United States and to almost every island. Well, that all pales in comparison, because, girl, today you won the clash room. <laughs> yes, I love it. And uh, Mr. Travers, 10 years in the game, math teacher. You coach softball or you might coach softball? Well, this year, let's hope that us getting on TV, we will have a softball team. So last year, you guys didn't last have... Last year, we didn't quite make our numbers. All right, so this year, guys, listen, if you're watching this at home, you go to this school, you're playing softball, <laughs> get a bat, you can be on the team. There's no cuts. Everybody's making it. All right, Ms. Travis, I think that did it right there. <laughs> I hope so. All right, well, good, good luck today, guys, teachers versus students. I can't believe it's already time to send somebody to detention. Let's go. Okay, okay. Good luck on that softball team. I hope you guys get enough players out there. Teams, put your buzzers down. You're not going to need them for this one. You're going to work together because this is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category so students will start with you. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds aside whether you want to play or if you want to pass it over here to the teachers. If you choose to play, you answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the teacher squad to detention. But if you get it wrong, they can send one of you. If you pass, the other team must answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody to detention. It's going to get 40 points and a lot of bragging rights. So go back to school and be like, I sent you to detention. So, students, we're going to start with you. Sports. You're going to play? Pass. You're passing. Wow, passing. Here we go. Teacher's question. In football, what is the term for when a defensive player is able to tackle a quarterback before he can throw the ball? It's a sack. The sack is correct. The pass comes back to bite the students. You guys not sports stars, huh? Nope. Not feeling comfortable? If that was a video game question, though, you'd be honest, you would have been all over that, Probably, right? Yeah. We gotta send somebody to detention. That thing's getting full over there. Who's going? Janiyah's going. Janiyah out of the game just like that. Team captain. We heard a groan. They didn't want you to go, but hold it down for us. We will send somebody your way coming up next year. Teacher's category is science. Do you want to pass or play? It's up to you. Comfy? I guess we'll take it. Yeah, you got a science teacher. In the food chain, what group breaks down organic materials? Decomposers. 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 Said it emphatically, and it's correct. Nicely done by our science teacher there. Students, I'm getting nervous because they're making quick work of you guys right now. You're at two, but it's going to stand at one because Adonis is going to detention. Adonis is out of the game just like that. We are left with one. We got we to gotta make a stand here. Victoria, I've never felt more confident that somebody is coming back from down three to one than you right here. So you ready to do this? Yes. Okay, good. I love that energy. Here we go. Category is geography. Do you want to pass or play? Pass. Backs up against the wall. You're tossing it to the teachers? Yeah. <laughs> Earth is divided into how many hemispheres? Four. Okay, I was thinking two, but if it's four, then we'll two. <laughs> Here we go. Two hemispheres. Incorrect. Incorrect. Yeah. Four hemispheres is what we were looking for. I heard Mr. Travers say it. He was outbid on that one. Victoria, awesome pass, girlfriend, which means you get to pick any single teacher over here to go to detention. Who's it going to be? Mr. O'Callaghan. Mr. O'Callaghan out of the game. He heads over, pulls up another seat. And just like that, you're chipping away at this teacher team. The category goes to our teachers. How do you feel about fairy tales? Do you guys want to bid on that, or do you want to send that over to Victoria? Send it to Victoria. Victoria has it. Here we go. You got this right. It's going to be down to one on one. You can do this. In the fairy tale, Little Red Riding Hood, what animal does a little girl run into on her way to her grandmother's house? A wolf. Make it one 
V1. I told you she could do it, and she's firing back. You get to send somebody else. Strategically, you got to think which one is going to know more. Nice to see. Out of the game and down to Mr. Travers <laughs> versus Victoria. I got it. All right. Category is instruments. And we're going to go to you, Victoria. You're going to choose whether you want to pass this to Mr. Travers or play. You've already had a pass come back to bite you, but you've also had a play that helped you. So how do you feel about instruments? Um, I'm going to pass. Here we go. It's on you. Drums, piano, and cymbals are examples of what family of instruments? Need an answer. Corded. Victoria's done it. She just came back. The answer was percussion. Sir, you have to go to detention. Mr. Travers, Victoria, you just won 40 points for your team. Bringing her up to 70. What a round. Teacher's 50. Hey, we're going to be right back to see how well our contestants have at spelling. Come on back. to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Mastery East Camden Middle School in Camden County. They're going head to head. Teachers versus student. The score students holding that 70 to 50 point lead, but there's still plenty of time left for anyone to win this thing. So let's get right back into it with some spell check. Okay, here's how the game's gonna work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm gonna give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. If you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're gonna win 30 points. If the clock runs out, each player left standing is gonna get 10 points just for making it through the round. Here it starts now. We're playing spell check. Your first word, Janaya, is dance. D A N C E. You're dancing your way to the next round. Party. P A R T Y. Major. M A Y J O R. Sorry, you're out of there. Just a J. Globe. G L O B E. Utility. U T I T I. Out of the game, down to one speller left. Janai, you gotta hold it down for the kids here. Article. A R T I C L E. Delayed. D E L A Y E D. Good job. Perfectly. P E R F E C T L Y. Perfectly. Economy. E C. O M O N I E. Economy M Y, which means students are out of the game, bringing the teachers up to 80 points for the game and a 10 point lead over our 70 for the students, but we're not done yet. Picture day is next, and hopefully, everyone's still smiling when it comes to that final exam time. The classroom still in session when we come back. Shoulders. It's all in the shoulders. That's what she showed me this room, I promise. She's like, Richard, it's all in the shoulders. All right, welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students versus teachers from Mastery, East Camden Middle School in Camden County. I've made my way out into what I, I swear is a busload of people from this school. What's up, everybody? Good to see you guys. All right, your students are your, some of your best friends are up here. How are they doing so far? Eh, they could do better, right? You think you could have gotten some of the answers they didn't? All right, do they have the win in them today? Yeah. Yeah, all right, see, that's the confidence we need. And Principal Lawson, you're here. You have your students, you have your teachers. What's the best thing about watching them compete? The best thing I think about watching them compete is having seen them when they were this big and now they're this big, and I know the students can win. Oh! I love my teachers, but you guys better win. Let's go a lot on the line. Principal Lawson wants it. I know you guys, too. We're keeping this game going because it is time for Picture Day.
That's a good principal right there. She knows it's got to be about the kids, right? Sorry, teachers. Listen, I'm a teacher myself. I know. My principal will be going for them, too. All right, team, grab your buzzers. You guys are going to need them for this one. We're all going to show you a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you each three clues one at a time. With each clue, we're going to remove three of those boxes. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify that picture is going to win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member of the other team is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. We have three pictures today we got a close game on our hands let's see that first picture this person rang the bell at a Sixers game clue number two he's from Philadelphia Mr. O'Callaghan this is Meek Mill is that Meek Mill students you want to buzz in and steal take a guess We've gone quiet. Clue number three. He's been in movies such as Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, The Secret Life of Pets, and Night School. Victoria. Kevin Hart. Is that Kevin Hart? That's exactly who it is. Kevin Hart. Philadelphia funny man himself, and that ties the game up as we head into our picture number two. This person didn't have a middle name. Clue number two, a lot of places are named after this person. Clue number three, his face is on the one dollar bill. Janiyah. George Washington? Is that G-Dub himself? That's exactly who it is, George. No middle name. Washington, bringing you guys up to 90 points and in control of this game as we go right into picture number three. This is a well-known mascot. Clue number two, this character is yellow with black-tipped ears. Clue number three, it's an electric type Pokemon, Mr. O'Callaghan, Pikachu. You gotta catch them all. Is it Pikachu? Yeah. Call him Ash Ketchum because that's exactly what he did. He just caught 10 more points, bringing our score to a tie game, going into our final exam. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, the topic of today's final exam is U.S. cities. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to get them 100 points for their team. Teams, you're going to work together during the commercial break. No writing quite yet. Let's hear these questions first. Question number one on the final exam. In what city was the Declaration of Independence signed? Question two. Houston is the birthplace of what stargazing rapper? Question three on the final exam. Worth 100 points, what mile high city is the capital of Colorado? Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to confer and come up with their answers in just a couple of minutes. You guys have to come back because we're going to see which team aces this final exam and comes out first on the classroom. But hey, here's a look at how you can be the part of the classroom. Don't go anywhere, everybody. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Game, what a game. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Mastery East Cam, the middle school. They're going head to head. These scores are locked up tight at 90 points for our teachers, 90 points for our students, and it's anybody's game as we head into our final exam. The topic today is U.S. cities. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Don't forget, teams, each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points for your bottom line. Let's see who did it. Let's see who comes out on top because somebody has to win this game. So, in what city? was the Declaration of Independence signed. Students, we're going to start with you, Adonis. You guys said... Philadelphia. Philadelphia. You ran out of board space, but we'll take that one. That is correct. Bringing you up to 190 for the game. 
Teachers, we're firing right over to you in what city you guys said? Philadelphia. Philadelphia is right. And we're back to a tie ball game, moving right into question number two. Houston is the birthplace of what stargazing rapper? Students, you guys said? We said Jay-Z. <laughs> Incorrect. We're going to go over to the teachers before we give this correct answer. You guys said? <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. That's actually a rapper's name, but it is incorrect. We're looking for Travis Scott there, guys. Travis Scott is stargazing. Finally, what Mile High City is the capital of Colorado? Students, you said? Oh, no. Nothing on the board. Teachers, if you get this right, you win. If not, we're going to overtime. You said? Denver, which means teachers are your winners today on the classroom. Come on out here and get that $500. You got it. Mastery East Camden Middle School is going home with $500 for those teachers. They're getting a 3D printer. Everybody's winning. Hey, I want to thank you guys for being here today. We're going to see you next time. New teachers, new students, and $500 more on the line. We'll see you then. Thanks for being here. Guys, nice try, man. Nice try. Adonis, nicely done.